already. Well, Vicki, I came into the office the other day and on my desk was a card and Jeff Chu had written this down here and says uh, this guy would be a good interview on the show. Doing I love a him good already. Deed for dogs in Mason County. I so I look that. over here, I see George's name. I give him a call and next thing you know, him and his daughter, Sam, are on the air with us. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, guys. How are you guys Good doing? Morning. Excellent. It's nice to have you on and talking about what you do here, 5XL Shelton. You can find them on Facebook.com slash 5XL Shelton. Make sure you have that Shelton in there. So, George, uh, you actually have come by the station uh, before, and that kind of has led you into what you're doing now. Tell yes, me sir. about that. Tell us the story. Yes, sir. Um, uh, my daughter, Samantha, and I, we were in a car accident on October 25th of last year. Um Elderly gentleman came across the double yellow line, hit us head on, and um, we got messed up pretty good. After that, um, the insurance company said that it was called an act of God right. and that I wasn't entitled to anything and that I was going to be stuck with it. Well, I was, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know wow. what to do. I was at that point in my life where as a father, as an adult, that I had to stand up and, and try to be a man, but I didn't know how to do it. Right. So at that point in time, I, I, I was broken. You know, I was yeah. tears in my eyes. I wasn't sure what was going to happen next. Mm. Well, I reached out. I reached out to people, and, and you know, I reached out to every nonprofit organization around. Love Inc. Fantastic people over oh, there. Yeah. They bought me. A, I, I had another vehicle that I needed to get on the road. Love Inc. Bought me a battery. Um, we appreciate them, Crystal. We love you, <clears throat> and all the rest of the gang down there. Um, they came, bought me a battery. Um, people donated. They set up a GoFundMe page. People donated. Um, I'm not allowed to talk about politics as a nonprofit. Randy Netherland donated money to me. I was so proud. And he said, you go with your bad self. Because my daughter's in the NGROTC up at Shelton High School. Aww. You know, it, just people reached out to me. And I felt the love from the community. Growing up in New York, there's not a lot of that. There's not a lot of love in the community. It's more of a, you know, everybody's tough. Everybody wants to fight and that uh -huh. sort of thing. You know, um, so I didn't really get to see the love of the world. And when I came here and I saw that there was love there, I said, you know, I got to find a way to give back. So that led me on this journey since that time that I've been on that brought me to the Saints Pantry, the food bank. I worked there. Uh, a wonderful the director there is fantastic. Her name is Cheryl. She's the one who made my new logo. It looks great. Um, <laughs> she brought me in and just said, hey, come on, come work with us. And we made some changes there. We did a lot of transitions and things that were programs that we're trying to do. Uh, they put me in charge of inventory in the freezer. Uh -huh. <clears throat> um, before I got there, they were predominantly in two buildings over on 2nd Street. Um, now one of them is a gym. I'm a member of I'm going to get healthy again. Uh, but they closed down one building and they put it into one. So when they came into one building, you know, there's some tough decisions that have to be made because sure. there's a lot of things that were stored in that building. Sure. The dog food program was something that was done at the pantry for forever. I mean, they've been there since the 80s. Great, great organization. Um, when the dog food program wasn't, they weren't able to do it anymore because they're, hey, look, they're, they're about people. They're trying yeah. to help people. Yeah, right. So my director said we can't do the dog food anymore and i didn't know that i, I had no idea so one day uh, a young lady comes in beautiful american bulldog she comes up she goes hey can you guys have dog food i said of course and then i went in to grab dog food and there was none there and, I'm there and it broke my heart i had to tell this poor woman i don't have dog food for you and at that moment i decided that something needs to be done so i went and inquired with the director i said hey what happened to the dog food she said well we don't have the space for it anymore oh uh, yeah so i said okay i'm gonna take over this and she said all right, whatever you want to do, good luck. And <laughs> people, you know, people say things a lot of times, and a lot of people do. And, yeah. we, you know, we all have the best intentions when we say these things. But I said it, and I had, and that was my goal. That became my mission in life. I just started going around trying to find people, basically, that would give me dog food to bring into the community. Sure. And, you know, there's seniors out there that come to the food bank because, you know, living on Social Security isn't what it used to be. Right. Now people don't have the money to, to feed their animals. So what I did was I said, okay, I want to get in touch with everyone that I can in order to get food to them so they don't have to take food from their food pantry box to feed their animals. Right. right. So I went out, and I've been evangelizing like a preacher out there on the street. Nice. Anybody that wants to help, I, 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 we can use it. Um, people have brought me food. Um, I have an anonymous benefactor from the, the food pantry who wishes to remain unnamed. <laughs> she comes and brings me money and says, keep going with your dream. Make it happen. And it's just gone. There's a lot of dog lovers out oh, there. Oh, there so are. So that is great. Sam, That's awesome. Good for you. Tell me about how you have seen the change in your dad from October to now. Oh, it's crazy. He was, he basically lost his faith after the car accident. He was like, you know, people weren't as nice as they were trying to be. Mm -hmm. And 
he basically lost a lot of faith in people and then I've just watched him go from heartbroken you know he was crying after the accident because he was so upset about what happened sure, sure. Um, now he's this happy smiley friendly guy everybody knows him as the smiley dog food guy uh -huh. like, he's gone from this really upset and depressed guy to a really happy outgoing smiley guy Aww, so you've seen awesome. you've seen people help you and now it's uh you're looking for help as well facebook.com slash 5xl shells and of course we'll put the links in this how do awesome. we get in touch with you uh other than the facebook page and how do we get the donations to you yeah all right i'm at the food bank uh, Saints Food Pantry. I'm there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh -huh. I'm usually there about 8:30, and <laughs> who knows what I'm going to get out of there. If I'm lucky, I get out of there at noon, but probably not. <laughs> Miss Cheryl doesn't let us leave. The slave driver over there. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Cheryl. Please don't slap me around when I come back. Um, it's Thursday's be a long walk day. back across the street. So can they yeah, still? No, they can big. still bring donations in there. Of oh dog yes, man. Food? Oh, you. great. Can awesome. Bring it to me. Ask for George or Freezer Man or whatever you want to call me. Five XL guy. Um. Come on down, see us. We're always, I'm always, I'm usually there. Even like today, I'm going to go back there and hang around because I have nothing better to do. And I'm a, I'm a shiftless loser who does nothing with himself. <laughs> well, I mean, now's the time to help out. It's a great opportunity to come see George at Saints Pantry uh, just here on Coda Street in downtown Shelton. 214 South 2nd is the actual address. Uh, Kitty Corner to us here at the old radio ranch. Now you had some people you wanted to thank. Did you get all of those in um, there? I or? wanted to just put a, a couple things out there. Um, this weekend, Granny Cat is at uh, uh, Mason County Kitten Rest. They're uh -huh. having a garage sale. Okay. Uh, we're going to be there. We're going to come up. We're going to be hanging around and loitering on their property. So is it not just dog food then? A cat food I have too? cat food. It's I, I'm trying to get to all the pets in Mason County eventually. Right now it's Shelton. I'm trying to keep it in Shelton because... We're, it's a great community. This is it the is. community that helped me, and this is where I want to I want to bring everything back to. Cool. Um, I there's so many wonderful people down here that have come and they've met with me. And, I mean, Feather over here at Feathers uh -huh. Photography, oh, yeah. she's fantastic. They're great. She volunteers with the the kitten rescue. She came over and she they Granny Cat sent food to us. Feather brought it for us to her shop, and then oh, we went man. over there and picked it up. She's so great. They're Aww. great, folks. wonderful woman. Um, then. <clears throat> There's a lot of other things that are going on. After our car accident, we had, obviously, we need to get some kind of medical attention. We wound up going on to advanced chiropractic. Dr. Blevins, great guy. His uh, his office manager, um, Erica, isn't doing well. She was recently diagnosed with cancer. And I, I her link is on my page. If you guys want to reach out to her, she's got a GoFundMe set up, okay. a friend of hers set up. Um, having a hard time with those medical bills. You know how that oh, goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her. Um, another big friend of ours is ramon from cali cuts uh -huh. everybody knows him he does, he does the best hairstyles job. around if you look on google uh google maps for ramon's business you'll see the picture of my son and all the great haircuts that he's given to my son ah, very nice uh, my, my wife says that uh he's not my son's not allowed to get a haircut again until ramon's back and better so he's gonna have a mullet before you know it she said last <laughs> night i said yes it goes back to dad in the 80s so he's bringing the like mullet me. back That's funny. Exactly. So these are all things that are near and dear to me and uh, if you go up to ramon's shop they have a fundraiser going. They're selling Cali Cuts gear. It's uh, sweatshirts, shirts, mugs, all that good stuff. If you go up there into the shop, you can see his sister, and they'll happily hook you up with that. You go in there prepay, and then you get your stuff in a couple days. Nice. Very good cool. Stuff well, there. George, it's nice Very to cool. see some good uh, change in the community. Uh, and uh, a lot of folks could go either direction when it comes to a car wreck. And yeah, it's I great know. that you uh, uh, broke good on that and one. And thank you for Tragedy what you did. For sure. So, <laughs> Sam and George, thanks for coming on the air and talking about this this morning. Thank you for having us. We for appreciate sure. it. Have a great rest Have of your day. Have a good day. day.